have horses for Farrier Day. Good morning guys, like I just showed you, it's Farrier Day on the farm. I forgot, I forgot, but I have on my alarm set, I woke up to a thing saying, it's Farrier Day, and I'm like, what? <laughs> but luckily, we are pretty like, easy to get ready. We just pulled the horses off the field, brushed them, cleaned them, and we're ready to go. All right, we are three down, and wait, two down. Little Minnie, your turn. And being such a good girl, like I just can't even believe how good she is for her feet. Honey was so good. That was amazing. That was absolutely amazing. These are all her little hoof things. Here, keep this one. This like they're better. so cute. Keep this, one. this one's better, that one. Yeah, that is perfect. Oh, shape. Isn't that cute? That's like, I know we're a bit over the top thinking that her feet are cute. I got mixed up in the farrier schedule because she was just here recently to take off Chino's shoes. So then, when I found out she was coming this morning, I'm like, oh man, we didn't even tell her that we have like a baby, blah, blah, blah. And she gets here and she's like, oh, I see you have a baby. <laughs> we're like, yeah, surprise. So then I start telling her like, you know, she's a um, mini, mini, miniature horse. She's, her breed is that she's an Appaloosa. And she's like, oh, because she said to me that out of all the breeds that are like the hardest to do are Appaloosas. <laughs> I'm like, of course they are. So I'm like getting more and more nervous as we're sitting there. We do all the horses. All the horses were excellent. She said that Chino's feet even look a little bit better than the last time that she did them, which is so good. So then it comes time for Honey. And she tells me like her whole plan, you know, like this is what I'm gonna do and blah, blah, blah. And I told her, Sophie's been really working with her touching her feet and, and you know, she's easy. And I said to her, you know, her personality seems to be like, when you do new things that she doesn't quite understand, she'll like argue, argue. And then she's like, ah, fine, always. Like no matter what Sophie throws at her, she's like, ah, 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 fine. <laughs> And I love that about her, but I don't know like enough to know if that's truly like who she is, like her personality. And so she picks up her feet and she starts doing her feet and she's like, <laughs> fine. And she did that for all four feet. Like our fairy said she might not be able to trim them today. She might just end up like picking them and, and doing, you know, the best she can today. And, and, and that, that she's had to do that before for foals. And the honey was a freaking rock star. Wasn't she a rock star? Mm -hmm. and Sophie and I are like proud moms, like, oh, she's so good. And then the farrier was like, oh, she's so cute. There's a, there's a mini farm by us and none of them are as cute as you. <laughs> Pony down. Can't see. She's probably too fat to get all the, oh. Really? Too fat to get up? Yeah, she got up and ran. She's like, get away from me. She's mad because. Gracie, I have to have bunch of dust. Off you. Whoa, yeah, she is mad. <laughs> I told you guys how we are are slowing the horses down on their feed the last few weeks. <laughs> oh my gosh. And these willows coming. The last, whoa. Hello. See, I don't know if she's the right one to introduce to the mini. So uh, anyway, we brought the ponies in early and left the horses out because the horses still need a, a little bit more because willow cannot yeah. live without yeah for a minute. I don't see this going very well. Yeah. 
And the Minnie's like, I don't know what's happening. She's like, save me from these The Minnie's things. like, calm your jets, horses. That's another thing that I wanted to tell you guys about, honey, is that how we've been finding her. I know that she's going to go through puberty and be awful. And I know that when she settles in, she's going to go through a period where she has friends and other horse family. And that's going to change things for us, too. We've been there. We've done that. Um, but we really like her personality. We really find her to be like a level headed, like we really, we're really enjoying her personality. We do think that she's, that we got lucky with her and that she's such a good, sweet little girl. Hello, honey. The ponies have settled down. Oh my God, you. Yeah, they want out with the other horses, but they've settled down. The fair Aww, the three ponies! The farrier saw Willow fist bump me. Somebody asked- I was asking Willow to fist bump, and then the farrier came running to see. Oh, yeah, I love our farrier. She's amazing. Like, she's already done such a good job with Chino's feet. She's careful with his feet. Like, she doesn't just treat him like every other horse. She's, like, special. She's, just, like, really- special with his feet and that's what he needs but and, and then she watched Penny. Chino racing across the field to catch Penny out there and she's like wow he looks so good like he just had his feet done and sometimes he's like lame after he gets his feet done she's trying to chew her way out yeah so uh, this little mini actually does not share a fence line with the other horses I saw that comment she has never really been like nose to nose with them or or had any like physical contact with them so uh, today we are I like, I want it, I want it. going to introduce uh honey sort of our first step of introducing honey to the ponies at least is to let them shoot a fence line meaning that she can go up to them and they can touch each other through the fence they can sniff each other they can squeal they can whatever they want to do except for kill each other. So you guys should know that we're taking a really long time to introduce Honey to the herd. We are blessed in the fact that we have lots of time. We can be down in the arena and down in the barn. As the bulls find this kind of stuff? Yeah, she likes like, to chew stuff. It's her little tree. <laughs> so we're gonna take it slow. Oh, there's Gracie. Why don't you put her on the lead rope and take her over? Gracie's like, I will meet you. Every time I'm going out, the same things keep happening. Take her halter her off.
plan to just take everything really slow. You guys see that Willow is lunging at Honey and as long as we take it slow and nobody gets hurt, that's the right way for us. We can't really change how each horse is gonna react to her. So we just wanna take it slow and do it the safest way possible because she is a baby. Oh look, she can dig. She's digging, Sophie. <laughs> She's trying to scratch your bum on the fence. Please don't get your life on. Please no. No, 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 no. Now she's gonna watch out, watch out, watch out, Sophie. Pet her, pet her, pet her. Sophie's been trying to pet a horse. Molly! <laughs> I know. This is why we don't ever let her out by herself with a halter on. late starting school we'll be doing school this afternoon and typically we do it in the mornings but it was so super fun letting honey share like a honey was, than honey was better than gracie for her feet and also it was so well, super like fun uh watching them share a fence line getting to know one another like being able to sniff each other and be able to touch one another. Like, I will kill you. Yeah, so there you guys go. Like, Gracie is nicer, gentler. And Willow, oh my gosh. Yeah, whoa, Willow was ferocious. But nobody was hurt, and that's all that's, all that's important to us. Also, Sam got these wheel cap things. And right here. Yesterday, and he spent the whole entire day putting them on his truck. The front. We saw Dad's dream truck. And the back. So it's starting to look fancier and fancier. And that's the cover that he got for it. But it's starting to look cute. And I do not like these running boards. Don't you know that you're beautiful?